In this video, I will show you the difference between a servo motor. Is it called servo? Servo motor. Oh my god. Servo motor. Servo motor. <laughs> servo motor. In this video, I will show you the difference between a servo motor and a usual a motor and how to control them using Arduino. The first difference is a servo motor has three cables and the DC motor has two cables. And I will hook both up to my Arduino. Now this is a very weak DC motor. Usually you shouldn't drive DC motors directly off the Arduino pins because the Arduino pins can only supply 20 milliamps. Most motors will require more than 20 milliamps. So they might damage the Arduino. In this case, it's a very weak motor and it's in fact so weak that I even use a resistor to limit the current. So let's see how we can drive a motor. So this motor is hooked up to pin two and to pin three. So I will use pin mode two, output, pin mode three, output digital right to low and digital right free high. If one pin is low and one pin is high, we have a voltage difference and the motor will start spinning. So let's try. Oh! And here comes your exercise. How can we turn the motor into the different direction? Well, in this case, it's as simple as turning pin two high and pin three low. Let's upload the sketch and, and the motor direction changed. Now let's say you would like to control the rudder of a radio controlled ship. Um, well, let's assume that you would mount the rudder onto the DC motor. Now the problem is how can you turn it just a little bit? It doesn't really work, right? I mean, we could do something like turn it in one direction, wait for 200 milliseconds and then stop the rotation by turning both high or low. doesn't really matter. Let's see what happens. So we successfully turned it a little bit, right? Let's do this again. Yeah, it's different now. <laughs> Let's increase it to 500, I don't know. Ah, okay. So let's assume we mount the rudder to the DC motor and then we upload the sketch and it turns a little bit, right? <laughs> but you see, it's very weak, so I can just um, the rudder won't work. It will just always reset the position to where it was before. And so we can't really use the DC motor for this. Um, this is where a servo comes in. The nice thing about the servo is that it has a gearbox inside. So here is the gearbox and the motor inside, you can see here is a tiny motor and it turns very fast but the gearbox translates this motor movement into a very slow movement. And so if I, if I turn the motor right here, it's very hard to turn by the way. It's very hard to turn this. The gearbox is moving crazy fast. So the motor is moving crazy fast inside, but you can still turn it, right? So if you would use it as a rudder like this, it wouldn't probably work because it will also reset because you can you can move it. However, another cool thing about the servo motor is there is a potentiometer inside. So the servo is actually measuring the angle. The servo knows which angle, oh damn. The servo knows which angle it has um, and it tries to reach this angle all the time. So if it's, let's say, um, as you can see, the servo goes from here to here. So let's say our desired angle is in the middle. 
if now the water pushes this servo motor to the right, the servo will try to push it back into the desired location. The same thing if it, the water pushes it to the left, the servo motor will push it back to the desired position. And this works as soon as we have power and a signal. So the servo has three pins. It is usually brown, red and orange. The brown one is ground. It will be connected to zero volts or to the ground pin of the Arduino. Then we have VCC. This will be connected to five volts, which you can also find on the Arduino. And then we have the orange one. The orange one is the signal pin that is capable of pulse whip modulation, which this one isn't. So let's connect it to pin 10, for example. 10 is capable of pulse width modulation. Now the servo measures the angle and the angle usually can be somewhere between zero and 180 degrees. So the middle would be 90 degrees. One milliseconds is zero degrees. 1.5 milliseconds is 90 degrees. And two milliseconds is 180 degrees. Period stays the same. This is 20 milliseconds. Let's control the servo by generating this signal in the most stupid way imaginable. Our signal pin is pin 10 and it is an output. Digital write 10 high. Delay 1 millisecond. Digital write 10 low delay 19 milliseconds. So now I'm generating this signal right here. Let's upload it. And you see the servo jumps to zero degrees. And if I try to push it into one direction, it pushes back. And it also pushes back if I go into the other direction. So this right now is zero degrees for the servo. Now delay expects an integer. So we can use delay microseconds and send 1500 microseconds and wait 1500 microseconds. And then we wait 18,500 So this is our second angle. It's not really 90 degrees. Um, it could be the inaccuracy of our, my signal or the cheap servo. I don't know. But let's go to 2000. Yeah, so this is the last possibility and you see it is pushing against it. It makes quite some noise. Uh, again, it's a very cheap servo. Here comes your second exercise. I would like our servo to sweep from zero to 180 and then back. How can we do it? I'll do it like this, 1000 plus. Let's call it angle delay. <laughs> Um, and 19,000 minus angle delay. And then we put this whole thing into a for loop. So for unsigned int angle delay equals zero. Then we need the condition. The condition is angle delay more than 1000 and then the increment is angle delay plus plus. I will put this stuff into the for loop and see what happens. So it goes from 0 to 180 
and then it jumps back of course because we jump back to zero right so what we can do is add a second for loop where we start at 1000 and as long as it's bigger than zero we will subtract the angle and now we should go from one side to the other side and then again back to where we started so i will connect my oscilloscope to ground and also to the signal of the servo and let's do it the cheap way let's press the auto button this looks amazing um okay sometimes the auto button works sometimes it doesn't this looks ugly this is not what we expect not at all how does it look if i whoa okay now you see how much difference the ground makes was i connected to ground i don't know um so now we see the beautiful signal something is wrong now this is interesting because this is not what i expect um i would expect 20 milliseconds of delay it still works but it's not what i expect so the thing is if i measure the signal i have a period of 3.6 milliseconds which again makes no sense so here comes the exercise if you know what i did wrong um please let me know in the comments down below i can figure it out now and i really have to continue this video let's go to some other solution because of course we we wouldn't do it like this we would use the library a library called servo i will sketch include library servo and now we have a servo and the first thing that we need is we need to create an object my cheap servo because it's really a cheap servo i'm not sure if it was cheap but it is cheap um my cheap servo we can then attach it to pin 10 and then we can say my cheap servo dot right zero zero would be the angle and right now the signal is is exactly what i would expect so you see we have 20 milliseconds and this is zero most likely this is also why it now works and it didn't work before because now we actually have the signal that it is required so yeah we have 20 milliseconds of period and the width of the signal is one millisecond so zero degree is one millisecond let's go to 90 degrees and we jump to mm, well 90 degree ish and you see the signal jumps to 1.5 milliseconds and with 180 yeah we jump to the end so yeah it's a cheap servo what can i say so the signal is perfect so now let's let's do it one last time i would like the servo to sweep from zero to 180 and from 180 back to zero using the servo library let's do a for loop we have an unsigned int and now we can really call it angle and we start at zero and as long as the angle is smaller than 180 we increase the angle and then we just write the angle to my cheap servo let's see whoa yeah and we should also add a delay whoa let's add a delay fast Whoa, okay 
better. Yeah, you see? Very nice. And you can also see when it sweeps back, it's running the full speed of the servo, which is not great because <laughs> we should sweep back. Uh, so let's sweep back. We sweep back from 180. As long as it's bigger than zero, we subtract. Let's sweep back. Awesome. And you can see, yeah, 180 is more than it actually is capable of. Yeah, because it's a cheap circle. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. Let me know in the comments down below what I did wrong, because I clearly did something wrong, because I, I wasn't able to generate the signal as intended. It should be super easy to do. So, yeah, let me know. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.